A steady stream of corporate development money continues to come into the city of Detroit. And it's heading into the neighborhoods, this time on the west side. Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney tonight tells us why this particular development has a unique angle, teenagers. Well, like the sign says, friends gather here. Perhaps they didn't in years past, but this is the Warndale neighborhood. And as you can see, this is a brightly colored, well-appointed, redone, vacant lot, really. And it has a lot of color, and there's a reason for that, because it's teenagers who have been asked to help with the design not only of places like this and the building of tables like this, but having an eye toward rebuilding the whole area, because the hope is they'll live here for a very long time. Yes, like many Detroit neighborhoods, Warrendale Cody Rouge has its boarded up schools and homes needing trash pickup and repair. At a news conference today, Huntington Bank, along with several others, announced that they're ponying up $5 million over five years for the city's strategic neighborhood fund and the affordable housing leverage fund. Mayor Mike Duggan wore a wide smile today after the announcement. These are going to be the most beautiful commercial corridors in any neighborhood in this city. The money's going to go towards spiffing up the business district and building new housing in the area. And when the city looked at the neighborhood's demographics, it discovered nearly half of the residents are children. So they decided to bring them into the planning process as well. 16-year-old high school senior Skyla Pounds signed up and wound up the student leader. And our plan is to get things in the community that the youth can relate to, um, like basketball courts and fixing up the streets just to make the neighborhood safe and livable for older people as well as younger people. And they're not giving them lip service here. We're told that about half of the ideas in the plan come from the very teenager and her friends that you saw. Back to you. I, I see you talked to the mayor there at the press conference. Rod, what does he think about the kids' involvement? He, he says that they're incredible, and, and it's not, again, lip service. He went to a Tigers game with these children, and he said he didn't get to see any of the game because they were talking to him uh, and so engaging about what they want their neighborhood to become. And, in fact, he said one of the, one of the kids, 13 years old, has decided that roundabouts are the right answer because the traffic is moving too quickly <laughs> through the neighborhood. That one might not hold up to the end, but they're thinking about it. Well, we, we have to teach people how to drive around the first, roundabouts yes. first. But Ongoing. Uh, great that they're thinking uh, in that way. Okay, Rod, we appreciate it. Skyla looks like tomorrow's block party leader. Did you doesn't hear she? her? Yeah, My goodness. Great. <laughs> uh, let's get a look at some of the top national stories uh, being followed today on NBC Nightly News at 630.